Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fascination. As you can see, I've got a lot done on this dress that's been kind of a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> uh, so what I have pinned right here is that panel that's supposed to go across, but what I did was I did a double-sided panel on that. So no matter how it fits on me, and I am still going to put the zipper on there, and it's still going to be a hidden zipper because I'm going to hide that zipper behind two other fabric panels, you know, like kind of peek right there. So this will be the main part to actually hold the zipper down, right? Hold it in place. But... At the same time, I will overlay and probably hand stitch under um, the fabric that will actually hide the zipper. Now, strangely enough, like the zipper doesn't look like it wants to try to be even, but it's actually even on there. I think it's probably because of how I have it pinned to my dress form instead of actually on my dress form because of all of you know well know I need resized Manny Quinn um and uh there's actually a lot that I will be doing in my room this year kind of like I don't know it seems really like I would say more cheerful in here, but we're gonna cheer the place up a little more. Um, yeah, cheer this place up a little more. There's a lot to do this year, right? I went outside and breathed some air because, you know, like, get outside and breathe some air and get some freaking vitamin D. Because if you're not doing that, hey, where's your brain? <laughs> Go outside and breathe some air. And without that silly mask, get grief on a Christmas tree. Um, <sighs> oh, please. Uh, we're not going into how many doctors and nurses I've talked to that said, don't wear that. Because that actually suppresses your lungs and gives you issues. Um... Oh, the ban is being lifted in New Jersey on everything. And then people are able to go back to work. That's lovely. That's loveliness, isn't it? That is loveliness. Anyway, um, so I had to remove the other one that I had here because I realized that, you know, even though I had split the front panel, I was like, you know what, that didn't look right. And, um, so what I had done, I'm wearing, like, a loose-fitting, this is supposed to be a beach dress, but I just wear it as a shirt, um, because it's comfortable. It's loungewear. It's loungewear. Um, and then there, of course, you know, there will be more clothing videos coming up, but, like I said, what I'm doing here, and I do you have some pens? Can't go without your pens. Um, so what I will be doing is go ahead and just pin this in like this. That way they stay. I'm actually going to pin it this way for a change. I really don't do that anymore. I used to. But I kind of got out of the habit of doing that. Um, and then when I'm done with this, I'm going to, like, my roots need some touching up. My medicine's been playing heck on my roots. Um, and then, as some of you may know, I have the... Jeffree Star collection and the Bloodlust collection or the Bloodlust palette. The colors in there would go great with this. So, um, another thing I'm going to do 
is since like the stitching right here didn't work out the way I wanted, I'm actually going to make a uh, stay belting just kind of cover that or maybe put some ribbon over it um, or I can make ribbon out of like the cabbage of fabric. There isn't much of that over there. There is not much cabbage at the sewing desk. <sighs> no, there, there is not. Um, pretty much the sewing machine has been staying where it is because thank goodness. I like now to be able to just get up, you know, have my coffee in the morning, my breakfast and uh, maybe stretch a bit. Do not forget, if you're going to sit at the sewing machine for a while, you do need to stretch. You need to get up and stretch. You need to stretch before you sit. You too, like stretch. Or even stretch um, like this. Because what that does is that tightens up your back and your arm and then of course you know go like that because that really um strengthens your back and i certainly need that um uh, with missing part of my spine i certainly need to strengthen my back um and i can't wait until next month oh fabric mark. Oh, yeah. Am I going to wear this to fabric mark? No. No, probably not. I really don't have any shoes to go with it, so why wear it if I don't have any shoes to go with it? Right? Um, so, there are some shoes from a um, company I would love to purchase from at the moment. Um, let's see if I have oh, they just hooked up with another company too. Anyway, um, I know a lot of like history bounders use them because they make historically correct uh, shoes, and I love their saddle shoes. Oh. Don't ask why I love saddle shoes. For some reason, when I was a little girl, I was forced to wear saddle shoes. But for some reason, I love a good saddle shoe. Um, and if there's any kind of heel that I like for a boot, it's either the Harley boots or if you want to go Victorian style boots you would want to go with a boot that has a, a heel only about that tall and square. You would want a square heel. Um, absolutely. Because that makes sense. It makes absolute sense to have that square heel. Um, okay, but like I was saying, like right here, because when that's actually sewn on, this is pretty much what the hem will be like. But obviously this part will be tucked in. And then, of course, you know, that's going to connect over here. And then I will obviously... <sighs> put the zipper to where it belongs because we gotta try to do this a specific way. Now you can actually put your zipper to a point that you want it and if it's too long you can just sew across to keep the zipper at the point that you want it. So, or you can move this part on the bodice to where you need it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
This thing's been a pain in the boota. It's very shapeless. I don't mind the pockets. I think they expect more of this shape to happen after you put it on. But I think with how much, come on, 10 yards of fabric for this. I mean, first of all, the design is cute. Yes, that is a given. The design is cute. Um, I did hand stitch this part down to make sure that this actually stays the way it's supposed to be here in the front. All right, I will show you the here, right here in the front. That way when it's on me, obviously the zipper that's hidden back behind here will never show. Um, and then it won't zip past that because I already fixed that on the inside so it'll only zip in the front. So that's actually fixed for a uh, zipper. And like I said, it, it does have good pockets. That's a given, but that also reminds me of the pocket I did on my pants. Um, <sighs> am I glad that I have this dress for him? Yes. Yes, our dress forms are learning tools, so to speak. Um, and we have to learn how to work with whatever size you can get for what you pay for it. Um, dress forms are very expensive. It's not a cheap item at all. My poor skin. My poor skin. I need to go outside more. Um, and get that vitamin D once it warms up. Like, good gracious. Okay, let's talk about this bushakara. And, <laughs> like, before we get back to this, um, because I'll show you guys this when I have the zipper finished and hair colored and we'll do a look. Um, <laughs> obviously, um, but, you know, this whole, whole thing of, like, staying inside, you know, who told you to stay inside? Who, like, I, no. They said stay at home, but they didn't necessarily say stay inside. Go outside. Go outside. Breathe that fresh air. <laughs> no, don't worry. I didn't let one out or you would have heard that. Anyway, like, <sighs> all of New Jersey has never been on lockdown. Lockdown is completely different terminology. You know that lockdown actually means that you can't go outside, but people go outside and they go to the grocery store. If we were on a lockdown, pretty much the uh, military would be storming the roads on a daily basis, and they haven't done that. They have not done that. Um, so yeah. Uh, can't wait to get outside and then I need to check the calendar and see if the powwow was still going this year. Oh, I, I don't want that to get pushed back to a different month. Even if it does, I'm still going and I'm still making my regalia. Um, am I going to make, still make the mocks of my mocks? Yes. And why? Because I need to do a good mock-up of moccasins, if that makes any sense to you. It does to me. Um, and then I plan on wearing my hair backles like I did last year after uh, my lovely friend of Rocco. Thank you, Rocco. How about me my hair backles at the powwow? Um, I'm gonna have to brush out my hair really good because like I don't know. This weather's getting weird. I had to like 
pull this hair down a little bit when I woke up. Because it was like tight to the back of my head. I was like, no. <laughs> Can't have that happen. Oh, like, I will pull on that part of my hair just to try to like bring it down a bit because it gets too too curly here in Jersey like um, some of the gals at the, the uh, powwow last year that are Native American and black mix as well they have the same problem that I do with the hair and they were feeling my hair they're like yeah your hair is coarse like ours I'm like yeah but we're all proud to like say that it doesn't matter which tone of brown that our skin is. Um, like right here at the ends of my hair, it gets like really kind of woolly. It does, it gets really woolly at the end of my hair. Um, that's not why we're here. Anyway, sewing. <laughs> My goodness, I'll be glad when I'm done with this. Um, I know I've had requests from some people to show how to make your own underpants. Um, I did have a video, but that video was messed with. I don't know how that happened, so I had to delete it. It was on my other device. I had to delete that. So hopefully um, I can pull one of my other stretchy fabrics or a couple of my other stretchy fabrics and show you how to make an undergarment. Um, and of course I'm not going to try it on and show it to the world. Um, <laughs> and I'm wearing one of those undergarments right now that I just recently made. That video was messed up on. So you see like through all this a lot of you are making yourself depressed you're suppressing yourself instead of thinking more in a positive manner here's my thought on more positivity to put out there the more positive you are here okay the realm of thinking I'm just gonna go outside and get a breath of air today take your tea or coffee with you and step outside and have some air and some vitamin D. Um, in fact, the New Jersey governor, he's like, not enough people are getting outside. And but, uh, he wants you to go outside. And without that silly mask. Um, he doesn't even want people wearing a silly mask inside of a store anymore. Uh, because it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. So he says it's a waste of time. He also said all of New Jersey hospitals are well supplied. Oh, schnapples. Uh, which is good to know. They have been well supplied for like the longest. It's just the fake news and their bullshatara. I've been trying to brainwash the public. Uh, did you see that there? I'm trying to tell you. Um, yeah. Oh, this is trying to tell me that I have low, uh, low space on this. So, anyway, you know how that goes. Um, Probably in the next couple of years, I'll invest in other device. Hopefully it'll be more secure. Hopefully I can afford it. But until then, I want you guys to remember there's more to life than what you hear on the news media. You need to go outside and get some air. Yes, and your vitamin D. Just go outside and get some freaking air, people. Just do it. Um, trust me. Just do it. Uh, 
and uh, I stood next to my friend at the Wawa the other day, and they didn't freak out at Wawa like, oh my gosh, social distance. Um, like, no. They're just like, no. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And realize, unless you have an underlying condition, <laughs> the New Jersey governor brought that up. Unless you have an underlying condition that actually causes you upper respiratory ailments, nothing's going to happen to you. The freak out low. I have more of a chance of getting that just because I have asthma. Okay. I have more of a chance of getting the flu that's going around or a cold because I have fibroid malgia. I have a thyroid disorder. Okay. Unless you have, like, an autoimmune disorder, eat your fruits and veggies. Eat your greens, and you'll be fine. And go breathe some air, and I'll see you guys later, because, you know, hey, it is what it is. And keep yourself positive by, like, switching up what you're doing, especially if you're doing content, like, switch that up. Because you're going to just bore the crap tola out of people. Absolutely. Oh, and by the way, there's still stuff in the stores. <laughs> Toilet paper. Don't be whore. Leave stuff on the shelves in the store. And I'll see you guys later.